This is ultrasound of uh, 28 years old female had his me done for thought uh, performed a year back. What I am trying to show you is the vaginal stump. This is the uh, vagina and this is the vaginal stump and the cystic area <coughs> that we are seeing inside is the Nabotian cyst. Okay, now when I move the probe towards the right side, I see a cystic area surrounded by few tubular These are the iliac vessels and uh, this is the in fact cystic area with fluid around. You see this is uh, the cyst and this is the fluid traversing its anterior surface and then can be followed up to the uh, it's a loculated uh, pocket that may approximately 6.3 into 1.8 centimeter. This is the urinary bladder. This is an, an insisted cystic pocket, loculated cystic pocket, anterior to the uh, that extends from the, uh, you know, it, it, this you see, it extends from the region of the, uh, yes, this is the vaginal stump, this extends from the region of the uh, vaginal stump and you literally into the region of the brachial nexa. This is the dilated fallopian tube, fluid film, clear fluid film. However, the uh, cystic area or the ovarian cyst on this side does show ecogenic areas within it. You see, this is the cyst and uh, this is the fluid pocket. These are the vessels. And you, we do see uh, that the cyst is not absolutely clear of internal echoes. However, no septas are seen, no calcification. Septas are also seen, sorry. This is a septa, this is a septa. However, <coughs> no calcification is seen, no solid element is seen within it. And this is the fluid pocket. And here it comes down up to the uh, region of uh, vaginal stunt in the pelvic cavity. So this is the cyst. And when I move the probe interiorly, I get this uh, loculated fluid pocket over there. See? Cyst and fluid pocket. Loculated fluid pocket. Vaginal stump, Nebotian cyst. Vaginal stump, Nebotian cyst, loculated tubular, cyst, uh, loculated cystic pocket, and uh, a cyst posterior to this loculated, this one. This is the cyst now, and you can see the uh, vessels, ileic vessels posterior to the, running posterior to this, uh, posterior laterally. From the cyst. So, not, not only this, in this patient, uh, we see this is the right kidney. Typical of uh, medullary calcinosis. As you can see, the calcifications are all in the medullary region. This is calcification, this one, this one, this one. This is the cortex and this is the medulla. And you see it in the medullary region, whereas the kidney otherwise is normal. These are all uh, medullary 
something that, as you call it, medullary calcinosis. The kidney is being perfused normally. You can see the blood vessels in all regions. And this is the right kidney that I am showing you. Now the left kidney, because if this is nephrocalcinosis, it's supposed to be bilateral. And here you will see. This is the left kidney. Transmitter opener. And this kidney is also being perfused normally. Well, you can see the perfusion level. And again, you see that uh, the, uh, these solid, ecogenic, bright, globular area, uh, areas uh, in the region of the medulla. And the, this is what we call as medullary calcinosis. It's a bilateral condition. So, medullary calcinosis. Then, Vaginal stem, ovarian cyst. See the posterior wall enhancement. This will be posterior wall enhancement and a loculated uh, cystic pocket extending from the region of the uh, <coughs> vaginal stump up to the <coughs> anterior to the cystic area and up to the right at an exa and it is suggestive of most of the Thank you very much.